In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to code your maze game so that the sprite cannot move through the walls of your maze. First, after going to the Scratch website, be sure that you are signed in, and then go to your stuff, which is uh, the folder here that says my stuff, and then you're going to click in, click on see inside once you've located your project. And this is the project right here that I'm making this, these tutorial videos with. So I will click on See Inside. Once the project loads, the first thing I'm going to do is put or place my sprite where I want it to start. So I'm going to start up here and have the bear move across and then all the way down to it gets to the end which will be right here. But to start, I need to place my bear where I want it to be when, I, when the player first launches or loads the game. With the bear where I want it, I'm then going to go load a go-to block. And if you look at these numbers, these numbers change every time you move your sprite. So wherever your sprite is when you drag that block in, that will give you a go-to block for that specific location. So I'm going to put the bear back at the beginning. And right now that is this location. This go-to says negative 198 and 140. And as you can see, if you look over here, the bear is at negative 198 and 140. If I would move the bear, but then click on this block, it takes me right back, which is what we want. And we're going to code this game that we're actually everything's going to the process of what, where we can play starts or begins with a space key so we will go to events and I'm going to say when the space key is pressed the bear should go to that position so it doesn't matter where the bear is but if I press the space bar on my computer it'll send it back to the beginning that's the first step then we need to add a control block. This is new. We have not done any control blocks yet. It's the orange circle over here. And we start with forever. So we're saying after the space bar is clicked or pressed, we want this code to run forever. And it's going to be an if then. And the if is going to be touching the maze, or in this case, we're going to use color. So we go to Sensing, which is the uh, lighter blue over here. Click on this blue circle. And there is a touching color block. And when you drag one of these guys in, the point here of the shape has to be in the middle of this area right here. So you drag it to the middle. And right now it says, if touching color, and this is some kind of blue or gray, we don't have any of that, or that's not the color that we made our maze with. So we want to click on this color, and then we click the color picker. And with the color picker, we hover over the lines of our maze. And be sure that you're right in the middle of the line, because there can actually be shades of dark gray just outside of the center. But in the center, it should be solid black. And then once you click, it's going to change this touching color to black. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our bear go back to the beginning or bounce back. So let's go over to the motion blocks. And we haven't moved our bear, so this go-to block is going to be the same as this one up here. So let's drag it in. You can also manually edit these numbers if you need to. Uh, but as of right now, when I click, actually I don't even need to click at this, the green flag. When I press the space bar, this code right here should be running and if I touch the line the bear should bounce back. So now I cannot go through the walls of my maze. And if you did not make the walls of your maze black, it doesn't matter you because when you click on this color right here and then the color picker tool, you're going to select the color of your the walls of your maze. So that is how you prevent the sprite from being able to move through the maze. And in the next couple of videos, I will show you 
how you can set up a lives counter so that the bear loses or your sprite loses a life every time it touches the maze and other things that are going to make your game a lot more interesting.